This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today in this quick tip, I'm going to show you guys how to create these nice long 2D flat shadows for your motion graphics animations. This is a very popular style in motion graphics, especially because 2D is the new trend right now. And uh, it's a very nice and quick way to do this um, within After Effects. Now there are a few presets out there that allow you to create these nice 2D shadows very easily um, in more detail. But I think that my solution is a little bit faster and it's a little bit different. And you'll see why in a second here. So I'm going to teach you how to create this very quickly uh, within After Effects using only a few effects compared to other solutions out there. So this is what it kind of looks like here. We have these nice shadows. It kind of reacts to our objects and it kind of scales nicely as you can see right here. And um, it renders very, very quickly. So let's go ahead and hop into our demo composition here. And here just have a quick animation with our 2D text layers animating on using uh, character animations. Simple like that. And I'm going to go ahead and add these nice flat 2D shadows to this text layer here. So let's go and take a look at how to do that. The first effect we're going to use is an effect called DC Radial Fast Blur. So traditionally we would use this effect to achieve kind of a light burst or a light ray effect like this. We'll set it to 100. And as you can see, you get this nice gleam of light. People use this for sci-fi, sun, you know, light rates and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to use it for shadows. So I'm going to set it to 100 and set the zoom to standard, which is fine for me. Now, just looking at this, it can seem like this could be a really, really nice realistic shadow um, because we have this nice fall off. If only this was tinted black, which can easily be done, it would look like a pretty accurate shadow. Uh, but in this case, we want 2D flat shadows. We don't really want a lot of fall off. We want simply straight, pure, hard edges, 2D edges. Um, and this can be done by clamping the alpha here. So as you can see, things kind of fade off and kind of get fuzzy. We want to clamp the edges, clamp the alpha, so that we don't get any fading uh, fading off to transparency going on. We want it to be clamped and nice and uh, sharp. So I want to go ahead and apply an effect called Matte Choker. And basically this will kind of choke the whole alpha of this thing right here. Uh, before I apply it, I want to go ahead and move my center somewhere else so we get this nice shadow direction here. So I'm going to move it to maybe this side of the composition. And you can probably barely see it, but the shadow or the light rays is actually pointing this way here. And I'll apply a matte choker to the effect stack. And I'm going to set the geometric softness to zero. We don't want any softness. Uh, we want no softness for the gray level softness one, as well as the gray level softness two. So we'll zero all that out. And then we're going to choke the choke one in the reverse direction. So in the negatives. And as you can see, when we do that, we're essentially clamping the whole CC radio fast blur effect. We're clamping it to make one solid piece of RGB information here. So already you're starting to see what we're going after here. So we created the shadow, except it's white. So we can go ahead and ensure that it's black by applying a fill effect. And this will just fill in whatever we have to any color we want. We'll set the color to black. And we'll set the opacity to around 25. Now this is starting to look like a really nice shadow here. Now what we want to do is we want to actually composite this below our original text layer here. So, you know, you could possibly duplicate the text layer and delete all the effects. That way you have the text layer above the shadow, but this is not a very clean solution. And we want to keep things, uh, you know, very minimal and very simple as much as possible. And we can do this all within one layer by using an effect called the CC composite effect. So what we have here is a shadow. I'm going to apply the CC composite effect. And essentially the CC composite effect will essentially um, composite our whole effect stack onto the original layer here. So for an example, if I drag that in and uncheck RGB only, you want to also use alpha. What it does is it actually composites the whole effect stack above it. It'll composite it on top of the original text layer. So the text layer is just the text layer by itself. It's got composite on top of that. And what you get is a really nice shadow. So as you can see, you get this nice shadow animation. Now, there are some caveats to this. As you saw in the animation, as we kind of just scrub through it, sometimes you can get these weird uh, off-shape shadows. Um, I think it looks a little more realistic, um, but obviously it's not as straight and squared as I like it to be in flat 2D shadows. Um, and this just happens to be the way that CC Radio Fast Blur kind of creates shadows so how we're clamping it. Um, but basically, you can kind of get some weirdness going on if uh, you're not careful. But overall, I think it's a very, very clean effect. And uh, for most cases, this will be very, very good. Um, again, 
You only have really two main effects here, the CC Radio Fast Blur and the Matte Choker. The fill is just to make it black, and then we have the CC Composite effect. This solution is a lot faster and a lot less tedious than some other solutions that use a lot of effects, a lot of effect stacks, and a lot of you know parameters. This is just a nice, clean, quick way to achieve these nice flat shadows. Um, in a lot of other presets, things are a lot more straight. For an example, if I just move this to the side here, usually the shadows would be very, very straight from this edge down and from you know this edge down and from this edge down. Things are very parallel to each other. Uh, but since the CC Radio Fast Blur creates a more of a realistic fall off, you get this kind of more organic kind of shadow fall off. So kind of like this nice spread. Usually other solutions don't really give you that spread. Uh, and that can be a pro and con. Sometimes I want to spread, sometimes I don't. Um, so it just depends on your solution. This is not the perfect solution, but it works very fast and renders very fluidly. So pretty cool way to create these nice 2D flash shadows for your animations. Before I go, I just want to thank our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform that allows you to create some beautiful websites for your online business, store, or portfolio. They have tons of templates to choose from, an amazing easy to use page builder that allows you to create websites just the way you want it to be without any prior coding knowledge. They have awesome 24 hour support and starting at just $8 a month, you can create a beautifully designed website in minutes. Best of all, you can actually save 10% off your order by using the promo code DOJO at checkout. So check it out, squarespace.com slash DOJO, Squarespace. So that's pretty much it guys for the 2D long shadows effect here. This stuff here is very, very reusable. So for an example, you can save these effect stacks as a preset and apply it whenever you need it to. I can copy the effect stack here and paste it into an iMac graphic here. And um, you'll see that it works flawlessly. And all you need to do is just change the angle and you know, it works wonders that way. Again, I know there are some better presets out there that allow you to create these same 2D shadows, um, but I think this is a very easy solution, a very simple solution with very few effects, and it kind of helps you understand the, you know, how choking and uh, CC composite works here. So check it out, 2D flash shadows. My name is Vincent Nguyen from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.